it's Esper, the jeans low head hat, arms crossed kid with the black tee. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is a video that I haven't done in such a long time, which is like a makeup related video. So I wanted to show you guys a new product that I got for makeup and you guys like my first impressions and how I'm going to use this. I will also be doing a TikTok tutorial, like eye look tutorial for my TikTok. So if you guys want to head over there and go follow me and check out all the other looks that I've done before, that would be cool. I got this. It's like a face painting palette and I got it off of Amazon. I'll link it down below in case you guys want to check it out. And I actually got it because I was trying to get water activated eyeliners because I've been seeing a lot of cool graphic liner looks so I wanted to try that and I was looking at some YouTube videos about this palette and I guess that they were saying that this is oil not water activated so but we're still gonna try it to use it I got these paint brushes also off of Amazon so I'll link both of these down below if you guys would like I got both of these I think for like $21 off this is what this looks like as you guys can see I haven't used it yet I can't feel the oil on it it was like leaking some pinkish color I've never gotten anything from that company before and it's used as like face paint but I bought it more like to do like eyeliner kind of looks with it should we do like swatches and stuff oh, I guess it's very creamy so that is what the black is like. I have this like reddish brown color. Oh, that is very pretty. This cool color right here. And I know that these are oil and I've been seeing like from the videos that I've seen, the girls were saying that they're really hard to remove, but I double cleanse. So I oil cleanse first and then I go in with a cleanser. So maybe I'll show you guys how I remove that so you guys could see. But yeah, I'm not really too worried about it not removing because you know that double cleansing is all that and a bag of chips okay oh that brown is pretty cool then we have the orange oh this color is very pretty the color right there then they have this gold color which is very i feel like it's pretty sheer to me that gold is very sheer so that might be good to like top some of these colors oh this blue okay so we have that blue right there we have a red that we're almost all the way through then we have like this peach color it's pretty nice I have a yellow okay and this is more like a neon yellow so we have that neon yellow because there is a different yellow in here so the one I just did was like this yellow we have that green oh this color oh that one is so pretty neon green we have that neonish green. We have this other yellow. This is more like a regular yellow. Where should I do it? I guess we'll do it right here. Okay. So this is more like a regular yellow. So we're gonna have to work our way up. This silver. Okay, that silver is super pretty. That silver. We have this color. It's like a pink, like a fuchsia. That is really cute. Then we have like a regular pink. Or kind of like a hot pink. And then last but not least, we have the white. Okay, so those are what the colors look like. I feel like I really want to do... Oh, it's because that blue is so pretty. I feel like I want to do a look with the blues. Because you guys know my favorite color is blue. I also have an influencer where I leave a lot of reviews about a bunch of different stuff. So you guys want to go follow me on that too. That's also cool because I review all kinds of stuff like makeup, skincare, hair stuff, food stuff, just all kinds of stuff. So definitely go follow me on there if you guys want to see all my reviews. Um, so supposedly, supposedly what I seen on Amazon, um, it was saying that these after a few seconds or a few minutes, they dry down. So I want to see because I'm not sure if when I do these on my face if I should set them. So which one was the first one that we did? It was the black one. Okay, there is, when you touch it, there's like some transfer. So let me set that. Where is my powder? So we're going to set this, hopefully. Let's do, let's do that blue just because I know I'm going to use the blue. So we're going to set that blue down. And I'm just setting it 
with my RCMA no color powder. So let's, let's clean it up and then try it and see if it still transfers. Okay, so we're definitely gonna set it and put it on our eyes because after I set it and I touched it, there was no transfer at all. So what my plan to do is I'm gonna do one eye for you guys here on YouTube and then I'm gonna do the other eye on my TikTok. Like I said, if you guys wanna go see my eyeshadow tutorials and then just all the random ass stuff that I post, go follow me there. Also, I forgot to mention that I have temporarily changed my hair color. One of my favorite things about having blonde hair is whenever I want to just change up the color, I can. And I love semi-permanent hair colors, especially because they're so easy to take out. This one, I feel like the color has changed a lot because I've only washed my hair once since I dyed it about a week ago. And after I showered, I feel like a lot of the color came out. My hair looks a lot lighter. And this is a mixture of Arctic Fox Transylvania with manic panic i think it's ultraviolet i'll insert a picture right here of those colors but yeah i like mix it together and this is a color that i got yeah i just did a little little change from my look i got the bangs and the short hair which is so crazy because i don't even like short hair but i don't know i just me and scissors i don't know we kind of got this thing i don't know so i don't like short hair but for whatever reason I just decided, you know, I'm going to cut my hair short like this. I'm, I'm going to throw some bangs in there. And so that's where we're at right now. So what I'm thinking of, I want to do like a really pretty, simple look. I'm going to do my right eye for YouTube. Okay, yeah. So I'll do my right eye for YouTube and then I'll do my other eye for TikTok. So I'm going to use like this brush first. And then this other brush. Hopefully this works out good. I did um, prime my eyes and I primed my eyes using the MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pot and Soft Ochre because I have seen, um, and this one inspired me all, there's this girl that I follow on Instagram that she goes by Cut Crease or Cut Creaser. And she's always doing like these really amazing, cool ass looks with just liner. So that's what inspired me. And I seen on one of her posts, so she said that she had primed. So hopefully that was like eyeshadow primer, not face primer. I didn't even check that but we're good we, we i prime my eyes so i do like maybe the three blue colors so i'm thinking maybe this blue this blue and this blue yeah let's do it okay so we're gonna go on with that blue first So since I want to make it thinner, I think I'm going to go in with the other brush now and go in with this blue right here. Sorry, I'm letting my eyebrows grow out a little bit so they are looking a little crazy. And then we're going to go in with that lighter color, the lighter blue, with this blue right here. Those blues kind of look the same. It's so crazy because they don't look the same like over here, but right here they, they kind of do look the same. So we're going to go in with that first blue that we were using at the beginning and just... Ooh, I feel like that looks really cute. We're gonna set it. I'm gonna just go in with this small brush that I got from Real Techniques and go in with my setting powder. Like that. I don't wanna just do just like eyeliner. I kinda wanna throw on some of these rhinestones on there. So, okay, I'm gonna just go in with this big brush, this highlighting brush to remove the setting powder. One of my favorite glitters that I love to use are these from ColourPop and I got these I think when they were on sale. I'm obsessed with glitter. Okay, so we're just going to go in with this Morphe M124. So we're going to go in with this. Oh, shit. Sorry. So we're going to go in with this one right here. And it's in the shade Light Show. So I'm going to go in and apply some of that glitter. 
That looks so cute. Oh my god. Now I don't know if I want to do the rhinestones anymore. Shit, that should look super cute. <sighs> I know you. You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in three rhinestones just to give it that little accent. I feel like it's drying out. I don't know. It looks like shit, but this is how I apply my rhinestones. So I think I wanna do like a big star and then two little ones. that looks super pretty maybe we'll just do like that eye corner highlight that i like to do all of the time and my favorite brush for that is a morphe b18 brush so we're gonna go in with this blue moon palette from color pop and we're gonna go in with the color lumi so it's definitely like a different kind of look but kind of love it i feel like it's pretty fucking cute and it didn't take me that long to do my eyeshadows. It always does. And I feel like that was pretty easy to use. I know it's not the same as a water activated, obviously. But I feel like I really, really like these. I'm going to go wash these off. I'm going to show you guys how I wash these off. And then I'll do my whole TikTok video. And then I'll be back and show you guys a completed look. And I oil cleanse my face. I like to go in with this oil. And it's the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I also really, really, really love the Dermalogica, the, uh, the pre-cleanse, and that oil is so good, but as I had said in, I don't know what video, I think I said it on YouTube, um, that because Corona affected my bank account very negatively, I had to find another dupe or like something cheaper. This one is super good. This one has been recommended by Nye, uh, the esthetician on Twitter, so I really, I really love this. So this is what I use to oil cleanse my face. Now, if I'm wearing makeup like I am tonight, I will go in first with this one, the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Then I will go in with my wipes. And then when I feel like my face feels a little bit dry, then I will go in with this and then I will cleanse it just because when I'm wearing makeup, I wanna make sure that everything's off. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So this is what this looks like. And when you apply it, it just starts to do like this. Then to remove that, I will go in with these makeup removing wipes. Okay. okay. So not surprisingly, is the pink's kind of stained. So then I will go in with a little bit of my oil. Just on those super red parts. See if it breaks it down. A bit more. So when you double cleanse, Nye says that you have to oil cleanse for a minute. I have uh, been going more for like two minutes instead of just one minute. Just because, I don't know, it just makes you feel a little bit better. And then to remove the oil, you go in with some warm water. And then it will start to make the oil get like milky. Let me show you guys. Can see them, so it's turning milky. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cleanser just to try to take this off more. So, as you guys can see, I've removed all of the pink except for a little bit right here. I feel like overall, you guys should be double cleansing, especially because it makes your it just makes your skin feel really good. If you guys know, I've been, I've been going through a lot of like acne stuff. It's been bad. Well, cleansing is just amazing. And then plus you get so, I'm like addicted to it because um, if you oil cleanse for maybe about like 10 minutes straight, which and I only recommend for you to do once a week or once every other week to double cleanse that long. So double cleanse every single day. But if you're gonna do like that super long oil cleanse, that's like about 10, 15 minutes. Um, you're only supposed to do that once a week to once every other week. So remember that. Let me remind you guys what I did. So to take off like that, all that stuff first, I went with the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. And when I take off my makeup later on tonight, this is exactly what I'm going to use. So I'm going to go in with the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. To remove that, I'm going to go in with these wipes. 
and my face gets like dry I'm gonna go in with my cleansing oil do that for at least one minute I will do it for two because that's just my routine do it for two go in remove that with warm water so it gets all milky and stuff take that off and then go in with my cleanser and as you guys seen I feel like it was pretty easy to take off the girls on the other YouTube video made it seem like it was going to be super hard. And I do this whole little thing. If you guys feel like it's just take it off just doing the cleansing one, that's cool. But like I said, when I wear makeup, I'm a, I add this extra step right here just to make sure that everything's off. It always takes off my makeup completely, everything. I will list all these products down below in case you guys want to check these out. This I got at Sephora. I think that Ulta sells it. I'm not sure. These I got at Walmart. They're fragrance-free makeup wipes because my skin couldn't take the rose water ones anymore. This I got at Ulta. They sell this one in stores for $14. And they sell this one online at Ulta for $28. Look, so big. I love this. And it lasts you a good ass while. And then I got the CeraVe foaming cleanser. And this I got at Target. But you could also get it at Ulta. I will link everything down below in the description bar so you guys could go check it out if you guys would like. So let me go film my video for TikTok and then I'll be back and show you guys everything looking all real good. Looking, all, looking like a snack. Alright, so I went and completed this look with my one of my favorite lashes. They are from the Makeup Shack and they're the Dubai lashes. They're so cute. I'm, I love these. Yeah, so I just went in throw on these lashes and I honestly really like this palette I feel like it's so I don't know I feel like it's really easy to use I feel like these colors look very cute um and as you guys seen all I did was make sure to set it so I would get no transfer I really like this let me know if you guys want more makeup videos here up on my youtube or if you guys just prefer to watch them on tiktok I am planning to do some halloween stuff I know I said that last year or the year before i can't remember but you know depression um but yeah i feel like i want to do some stuff i'm like i've never really done much with like face paint and all of that but it's like the same as makeup right i mean i feel like i'm pretty decent at doing my makeup so i don't know let me know what kind of looks you guys would like to see um let me know if there's any looks you guys would want me to recreate or like i don't know what we'll see what i have planned for october hopefully you know i stay on track with all of that i will have all of this stuff linked down below so you guys can go and buy it i really like it and you guys seen how i removed it i think as long as you guys follow all those steps you guys should be good it should be very easy to remove as you guys seen what i did look i don't have like any marks or anything so yeah let me know if you guys recreate this look like i said i got inspired by cut crease cut crease or cut crease on instagram i will link her stuff down below too so you guys could go check her out or see who i was talking about if you guys have any questions just comment down below or follow me on my social media this top i got from one of my friends from high school's shop it's called canada i spoke about this in a story time video that i did wearing this shirt so yeah i will also link that down below let me know what kinds of videos do you guys want to see well, i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys buy yourselves this palette i really like it i can't wait to do more stuff with it don't forget to like this video share it if you guys thought it was good and subscribe to my channel because i've been at the same subscriber amount for like 20 years already so it's very, it's very hard. It's very hard for your girl. All right, you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video.